Welcome. You're watching the Thrift Store One Dad, where we read Hollywood Home on a budget. Do me a favor. In the comment section below, I want you, yeah you, to try and name a more all-American trifecta for your taste buds than burgers, fries, and shakes. Go ahead, do it. Although your answers might be interesting, and a few of them might actually hold some weight, in my view, even though I'm not a big burger guy, I can see that burgers, fries, and shakes are one of the undeniable pillars of good American living. At least, if made good. So hopefully what you're gonna get in this cookbook is what the cookbook's title says. Some good stuff. But considering that this is authored by a top chef Chicago fan favorite, Spike Mendelson, you had better deliver the goods, and then some. This is his Good Stuff Cookbook. Burgers, fries, shakes, wedges, and more. Co-authored with his sister, Miss Celine Mendelssohn, and picked up for either 99 cents or 199. I don't know the exact price because this was one of the first items I picked up from the American Thrift Store in Passaic, and they don't put price tags on books. So, either way, I got it for two bucks, and I can live with that. This was published by Wiley, Hoboken based. Why don't we pay a little visit to Spike's Good Stuff Eatery in DC? Ah, uh, DC. Famous for so many things, including pretty good grub, like Good Stuff Eatery, among other joints. Never mind its unpalatable politics otherwise. But let's pay a visit to Spike's Good Stuff Eatery and see what he's whipping up for us on the flat top. You guys are right on time. You caught me in my day off. Come in. We're going to show you how to make toasted marshmallow milkshakes, some of the burgers out of the cookbook. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Hey, what's up? Uh, we're at Good Stuff Eatery in uh, my restaurant on Capitol Hill. The idea of we wanted to do something that we can appeal to the masses, uh, and we wanted to take the classic American food, uh, being which is hamburgers and fries and milkshakes, and we just wanted to make it good for you. We're gonna make two of the burgers out of the cookbook today. One's one of my favorite that's named after, after me. It's the, the Spikes Five Napkin Sunny Side Burger. Uh, and then one of our other best sellers that we've won uh, some competitions, Rachel Ray's Burger Bash with, is the Obama Burger. We're going to drop about four slab of bacon. I usually like to use maybe about two pieces of uh, really crispy bacon. Oh yeah. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit to high heat because we really want to get this crispy, crispy bacon. Look at that. You can see all that flavor developing, caramelization, it's searing it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the marmalade over the burger. This cheese we're going to put over the burger. Let's go with one slice. You know, the cookbook was a way for me to give back to everybody that supported me along the way. I'm talking about from all the people from, from Top Chef, fans, to uh, you know people that come into the restaurant. And I figured, how fun would it be to make a, a cookbook of, of all the recipes in the restaurant, plus a hundred more creative ones. Let's get this delicious burger. So we're going to move this one over here on the brioche toasted bun. Look at that. Looking, looking nice. You saw it. It's proof. Look how easy it is. Took me a total of maybe about 20 minutes to cook. A little bit of minimal prep work, but you're going to find all these beautiful, exotic, amazing recipes in the Good Stuff Cookbook. It's a campfire in your mouth. Yes, you guessed it the famous toasted marshmallow milkshake. So, I got my torch. What we do is we, we probably toast about a million of these a year. Here we go, our homemade, beautiful custard that we make daily. Now look, this is the consistency you want when you're making your milkshake. Nice, smooth, not runny, nice and thick. Catch this on camera, look how fluid that is. Oh yeah. Hey, we don't buy anything here, we make everything fresh and you're gonna make everything fresh too because that's what it tells you to do in the cookbook. You can take a big scoop of homemade whipped cream and put it right on the top of there. And what would a toasted marshmallow milkshake be if we didn't finish with two beautiful toasted marshmallows? Burn, baby, burn. See, this is just so much fun. I mean, opening a burger place, doing a cookbook with milkshakes and, and, and hamburgers and french fries and onion rings and desserts. It's just, it's so much fun. I mean, 
I'm toasting marshmallows for God's sake. This is what I do for a living. And you can do it too on your spare time if you buy the cookbook. How about that? That is some good stuff. We're on a good starting point here, Spike. Anyway, his idea for a good party menu is three burgers, a side, a shake, and a sweet. So, we're going to go in that layout. So, without a moment's hesitation, further, let's get on with it. And we start with a red salad. This is his farm fresh classic red salad. Topped with fried Vidalian onion petals. Yep, you're welcome. Well, that is a fairly classic red salad. Although, if I was in charge of making red salads and good stuff eat me, I would top each and every one of them with bacon. I doubt Spike or anybody else would deny having bacon on their red salad. Who would object to that? Oh, then again, it's included in here, so... You get more bang for your buck. Next, hand-cut fries from Sonny. That would be Spike's grandfather, Sonny. And when he was little, he babysat his siblings, Paul, Philip, Maggie, Helen, and Barbara. Sister Helen still talks about how exciting it was when Sonny was in charge, because as soon as their parents left, he'd make french fries and sell them all in one huge brown paper bag. So, in the Mendelssohn home, they always sell them in paper bags. I'm sorry, but it actually looks more like a kitchen towel than a paper bag, but they look delicious nonetheless. Next up is a farmhouse bacon cheeseburger. A classic! Made better with cheese and bacon. Below is a variation for a big stuffed bacon meltdown. Just double the amount of ground sirloin, and this requires 30 ounces, so you need about 60 for the meltdown. Make double the number of burgers and layer two patties in each sandwich. Simple. There you go. Kind of like a Big Mac attack, if you will. This is what you saw Spike make in the video. That is the Prez Obama Burger. He moved to D.C. when the election was going at a fast pace. And of course, President Barack Obama, well, soon to be President Obama, said that good stuff was literally good stuff. So much so, that he, along with Spike, devised the Yes We Can Burger. Which took first place at Rachel Ray's New York City Food and Wine Burger Bass in 2009. Hey. If President Obama says that good stuff is good stuff, do you really need my seal of approval? And because the fried chicken sandwich is such a thing these days, which I really can't argue with, we offer you a fried chicken burger with smoked bacon, gingered honey mustard, and sautéed collard greens. Gingered honey mustard? Oh, Spike, you really do take your fried chicken sandwiches seriously. I had a chicken burger once that was at uh, Bobby Flay's, um, <clears throat> Bobby's Burger Palace. Yes, that, that was it. It was at Paramus at the Burger Town Outlets where I went to film his Burger's Fries and Saints cookbook review. And ever since that, it has since closed because of the pandemic. For good. Which is sad. Anyway, we're moving on to a toasted marshmallow shake. Undeniably delicious. And legendary. If this shake happens to bring the boys and the girls to your yard, and all of them say it's better than theirs, you have Spike to thank for that. You saw this being made in front of your own eyes. One more. Cavados Candy Apples. Cavados is an apple brandy made in Normandy. While studying France, I had a stroke of genius. This combined with candy apples could make me a millionaire. Cha-ching! Emerald. What? Martha. Who? So, think of that as one of your favorite childhood treats from the state fair every fall with a decidedly more grown-up approach. And really, for the most part, the burgers, the fries, the shakes, the veggies, the sweets, the treats, all those and then some, they ain't Nambi Pambi. They are grown up. They are mature. And yet, they are decidedly grounded too, or at least the farmhouse bacon burger is. Made with real ingredients, using real Tom and Sets techniques, with not a lot of complicated ingredients or uh, instructions or tools required to make them. I mean, you'll get a, a brief description and listing of the tools and ingredients you need 
in the beginning of the book. And of course, Spike also guides you to pay close attention to certain details regarding the toppings on your burgers. And of course, your salads and, well, certain components in the desserts. So that you can make them your very own masterpieces. And as for the more in the burgers, five, six, versus and more, you get a grilled cheese sandwich in here. You get homemade chili and a chili burger to utilize that chili. You get malts, you get floats. You get the goods and then some. All along with a good amount of photography from Joe Zemanski. And rave reviews from Chef's Art Smith. Tom Calicho, and the self-knighted queen of burgers, Rachel Way. How fitting. Well, Spike, if Rachel Way's the queen of burgers, and Bobby Flay's the king of burgers, you, my friend, are destined to become a prince of burgers. Half a clap to Dutchin, by the way, for failing to acknowledge the Top Chef fans that you accumulated through your time on Top Chef Chicago. You said in a video that you opened up Good Stuff Eatery and also made the cookbook from Good Stuff Eatery with menus from that joint for the fans. Why aren't they giving a thank you? For that, you get a half a clap to Dutchin. But under that four and a half out of five claps, this is literally what it's called. It's good stuff that will leave you stuffed to the top 10 degree. I mean, I could say more, but the title says it all. Could I say more? Well, yes I can. But for time's sake, I won't. Instead, I'm just going to let you watch David Noss on one of the All-American Pastimes for Our Palettes. And I'm going to thank you for watching, and I'm going to catch you on the flip side. Hello guys, we're down now. I'm at the Habit Grill for the first time. I'm gonna see how it is. Okay. Okay. That's what it is. Shake. Mmm. Not bad. On a cheeseburger day yesterday. <laughs> so good. Put the honors off, put the honors, put the honors. Amen. Look at this. Look at this, boys. Oh, that's so sick. Wow, that's killer, boys. That's so sick.